Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about container in container or Docker in Docker. Before understanding about this, let us try to understand why we need this. For example, if you are running some process inside a Docker container, within the process, if it needs to run Docker commands, then those Docker commands will create other containers. Let us take an example with Jenkins. If Jenkins master or Jenkins agent is running within a container and if you need to perform Docker builds, as part of our Jenkins jobs, then those Docker builds will be executed within the container. So these builds will create some other containers. So that means we need to configure Jenkins in such a way that we need to allow the containers to run inside another container. Same is the case with other CI tools which can run inside Docker containers. So this container in container or Docker in Docker can be configured using different methods. Here in the diagram, this is the first method. And this is the second method. In the first method, we have concept of sibling containers. That means this is the host where we have Docker engine installed and we start the container within this host, for example, Jenkins master. And within this container, if we need to perform some other Docker builds, those builds will create containers. So these containers can be created within this container or outside the container as sibling to this container. So in the first method, these containers will be created as siblings to the main container within the same host. And in the second method, we have the main container and the Docker builds within this container will create other containers within the same container. That means these containers are nested inside the main container. So in this video, we will see the second method in which we will create the nested containers. So for creating the nested containers, we will use the Docker din image. So here we have three containers, container C1, C2 and C3. We will create the container C1 using docker dind image. So when we create a container out of the docker dind image, that will have all the required libraries and utilities which will allow us to create the containers within the container. That means when we execute the docker commands, the images which we build or the containers we will create will be created inside the container C1. So let us see in the demo how we will create the container C2 and C3 within the container C1. Let us start. This is the Linux machine with Ubuntu operating system. Here I have already installed Docker. We can verify that. So Docker is up and running here. Now let us create container C1 using Docker Dint image. The container we create with Docker Dint image should have privileged access. That means we have to execute the Docker run command with privileged flag. So let us do that. So here I am providing privileged option. So let me provide the name for the container as C1 and the image name is docker with the tag dind. So we will create this container in background. So I am giving option D. Now it is downloading the docker image with the dint tag. Once the download is completed, it will create container C1. The container C1 is created. Let us verify that. So here we can see that. The container C1 is created. Now let us enter into the container C1 and then we will try to create some containers inside C1. Let us execute docker exit command and I am executing sh command there. Now we are inside the container C1. Let us verify if any containers are present inside the C1. We can see that there is no container within C1. Let us try to create a container here. I will create a container C2 using Nginx image. So I am providing the name as C2 and we will create the container in background. Now it is downloading the image within the container C1. Once the image is downloaded, it will create a container C2. So the container C2 is created. Let us verify the same. We can see the container C2 here which was created with image nginx and this C2 is created within the container C1. Let us create one more container C3 the same way as C2. So this time the image is already present so it has created the container out of it and let us verify the containers now. So now we can see that there are two containers within container C1, C2 and C3. Let me go back to the host machine. Now we are in the host session. Let me execute docker ps here. So here we can see only container C1. 
and we cannot see the containers C2 and C3 because they are present inside C1. So this way we can create multiple containers within another container using Docker image with tag DIN. DIN means Docker in Docker. So this image has all the utilities or libraries required to create containers inside the container which is created using that image. So in this video we have seen how to create multiple containers inside another container using the docker image with the tag name DIN. And we will see the practical application of this in the next video by explaining how to create Jenkins master within a docker container. I hope this video helps. Thanks a lot for watching.